Hey everybody, welcome back to Two Acres Evolving. Today I'm going to be setting up drip irrigation in this flower bed back behind me that I created a couple weeks ago. Now normally you'd want to do this while you're creating the flower bed, but whenever I was creating this I didn't have the materials that I needed. But now that I have everything I thought I would just do a full video of setting this up. So if any of you out there are interested in setting up drip irrigation in your flower beds, this will for the most part show you how to do it. So over here in front of the bricks I have a solid half inch poly tubing. Um, this is going to be run over to the side of my house to the water spigot. And then the three main things that I'll be using will be this solid tubing, another half inch tubing that has emitter holes every 18 inches, and I'm going to be running these along the front of the flower bed in front of the hookahs. And then I'll be using this quarter inch tubing. It's a solid tubing as well. And I'll be putting emitters into the side of this and then running this over to the rose bushes. So the first thing that I have to do is I have to make a cut in the solid black tubing that's in front of the brick. And I have to put in a T connector and connect the brown tubing with the emitters in it. So I'll go ahead and get started on that. And then I'll explain how I'm gonna hook up the drip lines to the rose bushes. So now what I'm going to do to run drip lines to each individual rose bush, I'm going to be punching a hole in the brown tubing and putting in a one gallon per hour emitter. And then I'll be connecting a quarter inch tube to that emitter and running it over to the rose bush and staking it in. So this part was the hardest part of the entire project because I have this brick wall right here. I have to I had to figure out a way to get the drip tubing through it. So I used three elbows. I used this elbow to go down and then a second one to go over and then a third one to connect back to the main water line. So then I should be able to just go ahead and put my bricks back in and hide all this and it should look just fine. All right, so I have a four zone automatic timer and I have my water hose hooked up to one end and then I'll be hooking the uh, drip tubing up to the other end. So let me get it a little closer so I can show you how to do that. Okay, so there's gonna be a few things that you're gonna need for this. There is a 25 PSI pressure regulator. You just connect that on. And then normally under this, you would have a fitting that you would put on to keep any debris or anything that may get into the lines from backing up into your water system but the store that I went and got these at they didn't have any more of those so I'll have to add that on there later so that would go on here 
and then on the bottom of that you would just put on this half inch poly faucet fitting down on the bottom and then your poly tubing will fit right on that so let me go ahead and get that connected Okay, and then once you got your tubing connected on there, you're good to go down here, and then I'll show you how to set up the timer. All right, hopefully the glare isn't too bad. So basically you'll wanna come in here and you'll wanna set the time, which I already have it set, it's 7.14 right now. And then you'll go up and you'll set the time that you wanna to start to water. And then down here at the bottom, you have your zones. I'm hooked up to zone one, so I wanna make sure I'm on zone one. And then I want to set the watering to start at, let's say, 8 o'clock. So I'll switch it to 8. And then I'll move over to the next one and it'll ask for how long. I'm going to leave it at 30 minutes. How often? I want to do it every 24 hours. And then it's over, the arrow's over on auto now. So now it's set up to run the drip lines in that flower bed at eight o'clock every evening for 30 minutes. All right, I got this project done and the whole thing took me about an hour to an hour and a half. So it's not difficult at all to complete until you run into a brick wall that you have to go around. But other than that, the whole thing is pretty simple. So if you wanna try this out, I'll make sure to put all the materials I use down in the description below. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel, and we'll see you in the next one.